Hi, this is Stranger from Indie MMO, and we're gonna start off in Blender with a new project. And we're gonna press the 7 on the numpad to get a top down view. And we're gonna go over here to the tools menu, which you, you can bring up with uh, the T key if it's not there. Then we're going over to the create tab and we're gonna press grid down here we're gonna choose how many subdivisions the grid is gonna have and we're gonna change it to 12 and this one to 12 as well then we're gonna hit the tab key to enter the edit mode and we're gonna be able to see the grid we've created. Then we're gonna press U and choose Smart UV Project and OK. Now we've created a basically a, a flat plane that's gonna serve as our water, and we've created a UV map for it as well so now we're just gonna hit ctrl s choose a name something like water grid and uh, choose a good save location uh, mine's gonna be saved in a folder called water assets that I created earlier and press save blender file then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna hit file export and FBX FBX is the format that Unreal Engine uses and uh, we're gonna save it in the same folder and we can just call it water grid FBX and hit export FBX Save this and we are actually done with the blender portion of the tutorial. Next up we're gonna open up or create a new Unreal Engine project. I've already created mine and in this uh, content folder here I'm gonna right click and make a new folder which I'm going to call water. Then what we're going to do is open up the save location where we saved our FBX file and we're gonna choose that and drag it over here until the little plus sign appears. I'm gonna let go open up the import options and make sure that these two are unchecked then we're gonna hit import and ignore that next we're gonna save this and move it over to the water folder then we're gonna open up the water folder and uh, the next step is bringing in a noise texture and that noise texture actually exists in the Unreal Engine files but you can't just import it normally like you would something like an FBX file you have to first find it and then you have to move it over to the project folder for the project you're working on so we're going to do that right now. First you need to find the installation folder for Unreal Engine which is usually located somewhere around local disk program files and epic games. Then in the search bar you're gonna write the word low res blurred noise all in one and search for this texture
when you found the texture, you're gonna right click on it and copy it. Now we're gonna move over to the project folder for the project we're working on. The project folder is usually found in the Unreal Projects folder, which is usually located in the documents, unless you have chosen some other save location. And as you see, I have my water folder here that I created earlier with my water grid asset in it. So what I'm gonna do now is paste the low res blurred noise into it. And as you can see, the low res blurred noise texture has appeared here, which is exactly what we want. Now what we're gonna do is open up the water grid file and make sure to uncheck cast shadow and enable collision so that we can actually walk through the water when it's created. I'm gonna save that and close that back up. Next we're gonna right click in the content browser down here and choose material. And we're gonna name this material water material. Then we're gonna press Ctrl S to save and open this up. Okay, this is where we get into making the actual material that will be creating the effect that we want. And we're gonna start off by checking this thing right here that says two-sided, which will make sure that we can view the water from below as well as from above. The second thing we are going to do is right click in the graph here and write vector parameter. This is going to create the color, so click on it, choose uh, an appropriate color and bring this value up so it's actually visible and click OK when you're happy with the color. Then we will connect this little thing here to the base color. And now you will see that our material has an actual color. Then we will click on the graph again and write world. And we're gonna scroll up all the way to the top and choose world position. Then we're gonna right click again, write DDX, repeat and write DDY. Next we will connect this to this and this to this. After that we're gonna right click again and write cross, cross product, that's what we want. And we're gonna hook this up here and this up here and right click again and type in normalize and we're gonna hook this up here and this to normal and with that done we're gonna move on to the very last part of the material creation which will involve the world position offset and for that we will need to jump back into the content browser and drag our low res blurred noise texture into our material like that then what we're gonna do is hold down the one key and click on the graph, right click on this and click 
convert to parameter. We are going to then put the default value of this parameter to 0.1 and we are going to call it wave speed. Later when you want to change uh, the speed of the waves you can jump in here and increase this parameter right here or you can decrease it if you think the waves are moving too fast. Then we are going to right click again and and add time with speed variable and we're going to hook up wave speed to the speed node here and we are going to make a float to and connect the frac time to both the x and the y then we are going to add a texture coordinate like that and we will hold down the A key and click to get an add function which we will then hook up to make float and to the texture coordinates next we will connect this to the texture sample UVs move this around a little bit then we are going to add a subtract and a multiply we are then going to hook this up to A this up to A here and then we will change the value of this subtract constant B to 0.5 and hit enter after that we're gonna make a vertex normal WS node right here we're gonna make a another multiply node and we are going to hold down the one key again and click here and once again we're gonna right click and choose convert to parameter but this time we're gonna change the default value to 50 and the parameter name to wave height then we will hook this up here and this here and this here and last but not least we will hook this up here and now you will see that the material is actually working and that's really it for the material part we can now click apply and save and jump back into the editor Next, what we're going to do is uh, drag out the water grid that we made in Blender earlier and then drag the water material on top of it. And as you can see, we now have perfectly functional water. And if you hold down the alt key and drag the arrow here we can duplicate it and you can see that the two tiles line up perfectly so you can make an infinite ocean if you want to another thing you can do is select the plane uh, press the R key select the middle node here 
hold down shift and pull it out to scale it up then press the W key to go back to the positioning tool and hold down alt and duplicate and you can do this as many times as you want and they will always line up and now you can just press play and jump into the game and you have perfectly working low poly water okay that's it for this tutorial and i hope you found it useful